are live in Las Vegas. Yes! My Girls, I expect you to give Norm a lot of fellatio tonight. Look, well, he's, a, he's, a, he's in pain right he's now. He's in pain, and you, it's up to you girls to fix him. <laughs> and then there's four other women here all want to show you their breasts. Do you care? Do I ever not care about seeing somebody's breasts? <laughs> Well, here we are live in Las Vegas. We're surrounded by about 10 billion people here you in Las feel Vegas. A like in sync at the Super Bowl? Yeah. <laughs> Screw in sync. We're big. We're really big. Robin, we're at the uh, Hard Rock Hotel, Las Vegas. Oh, yeah. Who's out in our audience, John? Howard, we have a lot of people. Um... Hey, there's a hot chick wants me to sign her breast. Yes. What's her story? That's oh, it. That's boy. music players. Uh, you know, Howard, Howard all, every, everybody said, please sign her breast so they can get her out of here. Is she annoying? Is yes. she really drunk? Uh, yeah, she's, she, she's a maniac. Ask her what she's been drinking. What have you been drinking? Surfers on acid. <laughs> What's Jager that? Malibu pineapple. There's some girl squeezing her chest. I won't hurt you much, I promise. Just sign my breast, baby, please. Howard. What do you want me to do? Sign your breast? All right, baby, why not? We were in Vegas. Uh, you only go around once. I'm such a good guy. My pen, Robin. You're a giver, Howard. Howard uh, this chick's some smoking girl. I mean, she's good looking, but she's whacked out of her skull. Okay. All right, honey. Pull it down and let's sign those things. What are you, a stripper? No, I'm what? a cocktail waitress. All right, same thing. Here. Come on, baby, sign it. Yes. Howard, they want her to take it off. Oh, yes. Thank you, yes! baby. Howard, I yeah. don't know, uh, you know, uh, have you seen this guy who uh, looks pretty much like you? Yes, he does. He's a Howard Stern lookalike. How you doing? Howard, yeah. I was just thinking, I'll do this while you go to the chicken ranch. All right, thank you. Okay. Guy scares he me. doesn't have your sense of humor. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Howard, you certainly have the look. <laughs> Howard, I also have, there's a girl with uh, triple double Ds who wants to show you her big breasts. All right, bring her in. We have to see that quickly. And then there's four other women here all want to show you their breasts. Do you care? Do I, do I ever not care about seeing somebody's breasts? All right, so all the, all the girls who want to show Howard, all the girls who want to show Howard your, your, your breasts, come on up. Come Boy, on look up. at John lining everyone up. <laughs> Hi, girls. Hold on. Oh, there's a, a beautiful lady. Hi. Oh, my goodness. Some, one girl nice didn't even wait to be asked. But one girl just took off. Where are you from? Who's this? Where are you from? You got, you've got triple D's? Yes, and they're real. And who's this blonde haired girl standing next to you? Hi. Vegas, where's Fonzie? What is that? We love you. Where I love you. Blonde? I live here. What are you, a stripper? Yeah, OG. Everybody's Howard. a stripper, Robin. If you lived here, you'd have to be a stripper. I, I think this girl's uh, been drinking a lot. Have you been drinking a lot? Oh, you haven't been? <laughs> you got nice boobs, though. Thank you for showing them to us. All right, baby, come on over. I'll sign those things. Howard, the casino has asked that they cover up. <laughs> Girls, cover up. <laughs> After all, this is a place of business. Yeah, monkey business. Monkey. Robin, I'm signing breasts. All right. Thank you, Howard. Very quickly, come get to all come the girls. Come on over real quick. Get to all the girls. Yeah, beautiful cans. Where's Balloon Man? Come here, come here. Balloon Man, come here. All right, nice to meet you. The girls have Yo, lined Howard, up to be bomb. <laughs> Come on over, let me sign your breasts. <laughs> Look at those things. Jesus <laughs> There's a bomb! That's good. That's good. <laughs> Robin, I'm signing so many bros. All right, thanks. We're going to be picking our blackjack dealer in just a minute so we can play with Norm Zeta. I wonder what kind of dough. What kind of dough is he going to plunk down? I don't know. I just told him, give me your best bet. Okay. We look like zoo animals here. We're surrounded by people, and it's really disconcerting. Las Vegas! 
so far. Hey, where's Norm Zeta? Let's bring him in. Norm Zeta is the publisher of Perfect Ten Magazine, and the reason we like this magazine is Norm claims to lose millions of dollars a year publishing Perfect Ten. Yeah, he doesn't make any money with the magazine. Doesn't make a dime with the magazine. Yet he's building a huge mansion called the Perfect Ten Mansion. And the reason he says he's doing it... Did you, did you ever, oh, here's Norm. Hey, Norm. Hey, Norm even has like a professional <laughs> card player outfit on. <laughs> what is that shirt? Look at this. <laughs> there he is, the most handsome man on the planet, Norm Zeta. <laughs> with the beautiful Perfect Ten girl. Norm, how are you? I'm what, very honored to be here, Howard. Well, I love having you here. First of all, I was saying the reason I admire you is that Perfect Ten, you've always said, I'm going to put out a, you know, nudie magazine only with girls with natural breasts. And you even said the magazine can lose millions of dollars a year. You don't care. You're doing it because you feel you're on a mission. Isn't that right? Yes. What, what is, is this mission? Yeah, what is the mission, Norm? Clarify that. Well, you know, I, I, I was a little concerned about how magazines are kind of degrading girls a little bit, and I've always <laughs> liked women. He's laughing. We're all laughing, Norm. You're fired, Jackie. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean you were concerned with how they were degrading women? Come on. Well, well you know, I don't, think, I don't think people should push implants on girls. I particularly see. Particularly if they have good bodies to begin with. Right. Now, and the, the I girls you brought here today are all natural, is that right? All absolutely natural. This is Stacy. Hi, Stacy. You're very Hi. beautiful. Thank you. Are you in the current issue? I was in it two years ago. You were in it two oh, years ago? Over yeah, well, you're hot. What are you, like a dancer or something? No, model no. actress. Model actress. That's my and favorite. And what are you, about 18 now? <laughs> Norm got to when you were 16. Yeah, how old are you? I'm 22. 22? Wow. It's usually the age I date. Card her. <laughs> and what is your name? Jennifer. Jennifer, and you have all natural breasts, too? Yes, I do. That's important. Norm, have you ever lost anybody to breast implants? Yes. Oh, really? Two, two, two girls. girls. What do you mean? Two girls uh, try to scam you? No, they, after shooting for Perfect Ten, they got implants. Oh. And that was the end of them, that right? That was the end of them. Oh. Right. And who is this over here? Hi, I'm Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Okay. And uh, how old are you? I'm 21. 21. Oh, that's perfect. They all know what to say. Right. <laughs> She's been on your show before. Yeah, I remember, <laughs> Ashley. How you doing? Yeah. <laughs> you having sex with these broads or no? Still? No. You're still not having yeah. sex with them? Uh, Nothing. Well, I mean, Norm, do you have some of woman? the girls, I cuddle around a little bit. <laughs> Right. Yeah, Norm's a, Norm has a whole thing going on where he will just cuddle with some of the girls. Any of you girls cuddling Norm uh, presently? Oh, you are. <laughs> Did any of the Perfect Ten girls use their hand on you during the commercials? <laughs> uh, not, not at the present time. Oh, just massages? Okay. Yes. Norm, yeah, at any... all pretty well behaved over here. At, at, at any minute, Norm could receive hand manipulation. These are all very respectful girls, Howard. Yes, they, they really are, are. Actually, very beautiful They're girls. Very, very yes, nice yes, girls. Yes, yes. Do you want to play one hand now with us? I want to play one hand. How, how much money would you put up, Norm? I, I'm prepared to put up 5000 5000 oh, on one hand that. right now. Oh. Well, I mean, you know. Robin, wow. I think we should gamble all with right. Norm. Okay. Norm, I'm going to put 250 up for my first bet. With you. Is that okay? That's fine. Norm's putting I'm up five betting, grand. I'm only betting one He's hand. Already pulled one up hand. Money. Look about at that. All we're doing is wow. one hand. What if you have to double and the down? The girls have to be able He's to help me. More. They do. The girls have to help me. Nice. Robin, are you putting any money down? I'm gonna put down. I'll put down two hundred. Really, Jackie? What are you putting down? I guess I got to do a hundred. Uh, Fred, what are you putting down? I'm gonna put down a hundred for the first bet. I for the first bet. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna put down two fifty. Norm's a high roller. So, Norm, you're not having sex with any of the Perfect Ten girls, but you occasionally cuddle them, and they, and they can use their hand on you? Is that it? Uh, I, uh, I am a good friend of some of them. Right. You're still not having intercourse, though, with any of the girls, right? No. When no intercourse. The, when is the last time you got laid? Uh, well, I've had a little bit of intercourse with some non-Perfect Ten models just to remember what it's like. See, you're, you're not like you have to. You are a different kind of man. You are a whole new kind of man. I mean, you... He, you are a guy who uh, is afraid of diseases. You do not advocate just going around having a willy-nilly sex. Absolutely correct. You have a whole different thing. I told you before, I don't believe in uh, intercourse before marriage, believe really? it or not. I but mean, you are, but you are a wealthy man. What, if a girl uses her hand on you, who cleans up the mess afterwards, though? <laughs> you, have, have, you have people who do that? Yes, people. You do. You have people. <laughs> yeah. You do. Oh, that's good. <laughs>
Well, the, be the beautiful Ugh. Olivia will be I'll dealing us cards. This all out. Here we go. Norm Zeta, you've got five thousand. I've got two hundred fifty on the table. Robin, put up your bet. How much are you betting? I have two hundred dollars here. Two hundred dollars, Jackie. What do you got up there? One hundred. One hundred, Fred. I'm gonna start with twenty. Twenty dollars. Oh boy. Oh, you big pussy. All right. Here we go. All right. Olivia, <laughs> what is the problem? Get the microphone on Olivia. Olivia, what is the problem? I, I just want to know if that's what he wants to bet. Yeah, you got a thousand star. What do you mean if that's what he wants to bet? I'll put it on the star. That's when she knows. Ah. Norm, is that what you want to bet? Five thousand yeah, dollars? No, I haven't played this game in like twenty years. All right, but I'm very here. Good. You haven't played this game in 20 years? Correct, about 20 years. I'll help you out. Don't worry about it. Can you help me, too? Because I have no idea. <laughs> you know, he Fred, what are you knocked over his chips just like he does the cards every day. Fred, are you betting $100? I'm betting $100. All right, here we Jackie go. Jackie, shame me into it. All right, we're ready, Olivia. Let's, all right, everyone quiet down. And let's get serious about gambling. I'll, I'll do the play-by-play -play for the people listening at home where you're in Las Vegas. Norm Zeta from Perfect 10, $5,000. Olivia, deal out those cards. Fred Norris gets a two. Jackie gets a queen. Hey, hey. I get a jack. Hey. Robin gets a four. Norm Zeta gets an eight. But she's in the game. Well, Ace two, oh. 20. I have a 20. I'm looking very good. Robin has 13. Norm Zeta has 17, and there's an eight showing. Let's go to Fred Norris first, who has a soft three, an ace oh, and a two. Right. Fred, you've got you to got take it. a hit. All right. Six. Oh. 16. Fred, Fred now has three, ace, two. That's six or 16. Fred, take a hit. Hit it. You've got to hit it. 18, good, stick. Good. All right, there he is. Fred has 18. Jackie has 20. I have 20. I'm good. Robin, you have 13. You got a hit. I got a hit. Okay. Go ahead against an eight. Robin has Whoa. just pulled a 19. All right, pulled a six. Now, Norm, you have 17. You got a stick against an eight, don't you? Can I ask my, I one of my models what to do? Yeah, oh. models. Yeah. Perfect 10 stay. girls. Stay. That's the model. Yeah, you got to stay. We're all staying. All right. Norm all right here we go. 15. Oh. Come on, baby. Oh. 18. Oh. Norm dropped five grand. Oh, <laughs> I had a great time, Howard. That was great. I am delighted to be on your show. <laughs> Norm, how do you feel? I feel fine. You feel all right about it? Robin, how much did you win? I won uh, $200. I won 250 yeah. bucks. I won 100 bucks. All first. right. But I wish Norm would have won, Can though. I have one of my models take what my place now. I, I think I, I think I think I think we're gonna take a breather. I want to thank Norm Zeta from Perfect Ten for, for just wasting five thousand dollars. Does that mean Perfect Ten will be out next month, or is that they're gonna put you over the bottom? I think we'll still be. You'll still be. Wait, 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 wait. They forgot about me. I want to thank. All right, I want to thank Norm Zeta for coming. I want to thank the Perfect Ten girls for coming. Uh, girls, I expect you to give Norm a lot of fellatio tonight. Look, he's a. He's a He's in pain right he's now. He's in pain, and you, it's up to you girls to fix him. <laughs> <laughs> Norm, we love the magazine. I'm sorry you dropped five grand. I feel bad. I, I, you, see, you see how girls are? My she pleasure. just said, I'm flying home. I don't even want to be with Norm anymore. <laughs> oh, you guys are going to dump Norm now, huh? <laughs> nice. She screwed us, because if, if she <laughs> were not yelled, she would be in the rent. All right, girls, you're being very annoying right now. Norm, go, go, uh, go rest. Okay, that's okay. The great Norm Zeta from yeah. Perfect Ten Magazine. We love it. I feel bad. Norm lost that was really, five grand. That's that great. was real money. That was real money he just dropped. Wouldn't you rather have him lose than us? Celebrities will be... Uh, I'm just glad we won. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, if it works this way I all night, we'll be okay. The celebrities lose, we win. John, who's our first press person? Can you help me out? Yeah, this is Kate. Hi, Kate. Hi, Howard. You're very pretty, by the way. Thank you very much. Hey, Who if our cameraman could get out of the way, I could see you. <laughs> Who does she work for? Who do you work for? The Las Vegas Sun. That's okay. a big newspaper here. That's the main paper, right? Well, yeah. Well, no? I like to think so. What's the main paper here? Las Vegas Review Journal. The what? Las Vegas Review Journal. Oh. But we're the second biggest. What is that, a free paper? No, Las Vegas Sun? No, we're the afternoon. You're an afternoon paper? Yep. And you're a real reporter? I'm a columnist. Yeah, I'm a real reporter. Because look at the body on her. Jeez. Everybody in Las Vegas is hot. How old are you? I'm 26. Really? And you're a hey columnist now. in the paper? Big fan. Hey now. Yeah. Big fan? Yeah. Married? Hey no. Single girl? Yeah. Did you just start? About a year and a half ago. And you're already a columnist. I write a gossip celebrity kind of oh. column. Okay. You fresh out of uh, uh, college? Uh, 97, I graduated. Wow. 97, she's already a columnist. Yeah. That's pretty good. Vegas has been good to me. Well, that's pretty good. Hope it'll be good for you. Well, you got a question? Yeah, so what have you... I know Tom gave you a hard time coming here. Is there anything that you haven't gotten since you've been in Vegas? Anything that you wish you sort of had come true? Yeah, you. I was alone in my room last night. 
Hey now. Hard to believe, you know, everybody got laid here, I think, last night. I mean, not our married guys, yeah. but so everybody what, was hooking up. What about the, you know, compare our strippers to the score strippers? What's up with that? Well, scores, as you know, is the best, but, but the, I met some beautiful... Everybody here is a stripper in the hotels, I swear to God. So what's your plan for later? What's your plan for later on tonight? After this show, I'm going to bed. <laughs> well, what are you doing? I want to hang out with you. You do, really? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but then you're going to write it in the newspaper if I bang you. Is that professional? No. She's a gossip columnist. Yes. I just want to hang I'm a huge fan. Listen for a long time. I just want to see your take on Vegas firsthand. I don't know what that means. I don't know. Does she want to have sex or does no, she, is I she think propositioning? I want to interview you all night. You want to interview me all night and write it up or you want to have some anal and get into oh, it? Oh, oh, oh. Does this include sex? I knew that question was coming. <laughs> if, Howard did, if Howard did you, would you write about it? If Howard is Let me give you a theoretical. Howard. You and I get together after the show. Yeah. We sit, we talk, we have a couple of drinks up in my room. We decide we like each other. We decide to have a night of hot, passionate sex. I put the pen away. You put the pen away? But do you pick it up but in the morning? Yeah, yeah, right. That's the question. I don't know. Yeah, forget it's it. To you. It's up to you. Up to me? Yeah. Uh, if you, like, take I'd her out of bed. I'd have to write something. I'd have to say something. You'd say that I banged you? I'd say that we spend a nice time together, me and the king of all media. Oh, but you wouldn't say we had sex. I don't think so. I don't know if we would have sex. I don't trust it. <laughs> See, I figure if you don't take her out of Vegas, she writes uh, everything. Right. And if you take her out of Vegas, she doesn't write anything. Well, there you go. <laughs> we were so close to having sex. That's too bad. All right, who is... How you know what? Do me a favor. Too? Just write that I'm a... <laughs> do me a favor. I don't, need to, I don't need to have my sex life written up. You know what? I'll bang you, but I'm going to have to kill you afterwards. <laughs> Vegas. All right, that's no deal. Who is this reporter this over is, here? This is Wendy from the Lesbian Voice. Ah, uh, finally, someone from the Lesbian Voice. Hi, Anybody there? So, Wendy, you are a lesbian, right? Yes, I am. Okay. Uh -huh. By the way, uh, let me describe to my audience at home that you are very, very attractive. Why, thank you. That any man would be glad to have sex with you. Oh, why, thank you. Dave. Yeah, wow. but you have been... And by the way, I did bring you souvenirs. Yes. Our fourth issue of the new magazine here in Las Vegas. As you know, I support the lesbian community. I do know that, and, I, and we thank you profusely. But you have the short haircut. I do. Right. Are you considered more butch or femme? You know, I've been called both. I think I ride that fence somewhat. She does. She's kind of femme. Yeah, she's, uh, yeah. You know, she's not butching it up too much. But I can see <laughs> that you would be more of the uh, aggressor or the, man, the traditional manly role in the relationship. Am I correct? You know, I'm not sure. Sometimes I do. If it comes to fixing the car or changing the oil, maybe, you know. Yeah, I can see you that. <laughs> you, are, you have a regular lover? Yes, I do. You do? Yeah. Yes, Howard, I do. May I ask I like to see that. Yeah. Have you ever had uh, a man? Oh, yes. Yeah. I was, I, uh, if you really want to know, I was married. No You're kidding. You're kidding. Oh, yes, that I was. Be wow. Was it, was it that bad? <laughs> On your wedding night, was your husband's genitalia black and blue? <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> I know, I know, I know <laughs> lesbians. Know. I'm going to tell you something. Okay. I know lesbians who have had sex with guys, and because they can't get aroused for a man, that the guy has to really just sort of push and, you know... And he gets oh. injured in the process. I know guys who have gotten injured in the process. I would have to actually check with him. It's been some time. But were you I able to get aroused with a man? Yes, I was. You were? I was. So you might not be full-blown out lesbian. Wait, so you when know. did you find out you were a lesbian? How did you find out? It was late in life. Yeah. Howard, I think her girlfriend's here. Is that right? Let Ooh. me see your girlfriend. Where Ooh. is she? I want to see the two of you together. Is oh. she back there? Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, baby. A lovely yeah. couple. Oh, yeah. You're the more femme. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you're more femme. Couple. Wow. Yeah, you're they dress alike. They're in matching outfits. The reporter is definitely the guy. <laughs> Howard, is there a guy around here who has it, not imagining them together right now? <laughs> I, I've got you all undressed. Exactly. <laughs> so beautiful. To order any or all of Jackie Martling's five filthy and funny dirty joke CDs, call 1-800-323-KING. Also on cassette, call 1-800-323-KING. Available in stores on Oleo Records. Despite the extreme violence, no wrestlers were injured during the making of this videotape. Your discretion is advised. The best of backyard wrestling has been banned from television. Secret underground fight clubs are risking their lives, and we have it all caught on tape. This wild footage is so extreme, we can't even show it to you in this commercial. NBC News reports the best of backyard wrestling is violent and shocking. Astonishing, brave Rolling Stone. You'll watch it again and again. We guarantee this video contains the world's most outrageous footage for your money back. And when you call now during this special TV offer, you'll also receive free forbidden bonus footage that has been banned in five countries. Plus, pro wrestling sexiest supermodel, Tylene Buck, like you've never seen her before. 
Remember, this video is not sold in stores. To order the best of backyard wrestling, call the number at the bottom of your screen or send check or money order for $19.95 plus shipping and handling. Order now and you'll receive the forbidden bonus footage absolutely free. Don't wait. Call 1-800-671-9559. That's 1-800-671-9559. Call now. Oh! Ah! He's rude and crude. Because I was married for two years! But he tells it like it is. Lies and your relationship they enhance your love get out of that bed every morning go still love you honey sam kinnison changed comedy forever and now for the first time you can own the tv special that started it all you can own sam kinnison's breaking the rules on home video for just 1995 but that's not all if you call right now we'll also include a second video sam kinnison's live in vegas a 20 dollar value absolutely free. Thanks for that exciting offer. This uncut, uncensored, totally live performance has never been available before and is far too rude for TV. We figure anybody who's been married twice can be a tour guide to now. Call 1-800-614-2121 now to get Sam Kittison's Breaking the Rules on home video for only $19.95 and receive live in Vegas absolutely free. You must be 18 to order. Do you have a question for me? I just wanted to say, yeah, I, I want to know how you like Vegas so far, but you haven't been here very long. And Only been here for the day. So far, it's been great. i got to say cu a couple of big thanks to uh, the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, who have given us first-class treatment. I yeah. recommend this place yeah, highly. They out the red carpet. They've been really, They're really, good. really yeah. good. There's, a, there's a, a lot of lesbians here. This is uh, Anne from the Out Las Vegas, another lesbian paper. Is that right? You're a lesbian, too? I, mean, I can't hear you. You can't hear me? Right. You're lucky. <laughs> it seems that Las Vegas is gay friendly. Yeah. Hi, Howard. Hi, Rob. You're Hi from there. the gay. Now, what gay paper are you from? Out Las Vegas. Out Las Vegas. And sort of uh, the sister brother publication to Lesbian Boy. You're clearly not wearing a bra, that's for sure. Jeez. <laughs> Your headlights are on and you're full blast. Maybe she likes you. Yeah. And what about you? You, you want to hop in the sack with the other two uh, reporters over there? No comment. No comment, right. Oh, oh. I, I wouldn't want to ruin a good friendship. Well, what about what about you? Do uh, you have a question for me? Yes. Howard, it's been said that one of the things that catapulted you to fame in the very beginning was the fact that you were the first guy on radio to actually use the word lesbian. That's very true. As a matter of fact, uh, people would not allow the discussion of lesbianism. They would not allow people to date. You know, remember the TV show Dating Game? Yes. I said, why is it that gay couples cannot play the dating game? And I started doing that on the air, and that is one of the things that catapulted me. Just something like that, merely accepting gayness, made me a revolutionary. Uh, so we should you thank broke you, the Howard. barrier, yeah. In fact, most people thought lesbian was the name of a country when I uh, got started. You should be uh, very proud to know that. Yeah, they said, those lesbians speak very good English. Wow. <laughs> Any other questions from any other reporters? Yes, Howard. We have uh, uh, Dave is here from uh, Channel 13 in Las Vegas. Is that an important channel? What uh, affiliation it's, it's are you? It's the ABC affiliate. Okay. By all means, step forward and get rid of the homies because I'm telling you right now, I've got to speak to you. What am I doing speaking to gay press when there's Channel 13 here? <laughs> Why are they waiting? Right. This is very important. Yeah. You going to do this again? Are we going to be back in Vegas? Yeah. You can count on it. <laughs> what was that you were saying? Okay, I'm a cocktail waitress, so I get a tip too. Yeah, you get the tip of my pen on your ass. Oh, <laughs> Honey, what are you talking about? Come Howard, on. I've been waiting all night for you. Oh, sorry. Uh, 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 uh.